Homeless law was really the idea of Phil Lynch and he realised that people experiencing or at risk of homelessness weren't accessing legal help. Uh, so we wanted to design a program that would do that. So the key idea was that it would be outreach based. The, the proper operation of a justice system depends on everyone having access to proper legal help. And if, if people at the margins of society can't get access to proper legal help, then the system doesn't work according to its design. So it's a remarkable thing that homeless law has managed to save people from homelessness, as well as helping them deal with the legal problems that they confront when they're homeless. And I think that's a very great thing. Since we were set up in 2001, we've assisted 7,500 Victorians who are homeless or at risk of homelessness. What we're working to do is prevent homelessness, to stop homelessness before it starts, and to reduce what is otherwise a really unrelenting impact of the law on people experiencing homelessness. I guess after my divorce, I think things got a little bit more tough. One thing just, you know, led to another and um, the pressures you know just started building up and it you know got to a stage where if there was an unexpected bill to be paid uh, you know I really struggled paying that and so struggling to pay you know just to keep the power on or, or whatnot um, would lead me to uh, not pay the rent or half of the rent that week and I would then fall behind it was just like a juggling act the whole time pretty much. Rima is one of 418 people in the last four years that homeless law has helped to prevent entering homelessness. And we know that when we can keep people in housing, when we can stop homelessness before it starts, we can prevent the crisis and the, the unravelling of life that can sometimes come with an experience of homelessness. What I found with Justice Connect is that um, they were very valuable in actually not only documenting my story, listening to the case, which other services as well in the government do, they actually followed through with actually giving me the voice. They never made um, any step or any uh, decisions on my behalf without making sure that I was absolutely comfortable with it, which I found really invaluable and very quite surprising. And that made me feel like a, a real person that they valued and I valued them just the same. The impact of, uh, of homeless law, I think, is obviously on the clients, it's on the lawyers. It's also had a great impact on the justice system in Victoria. We've been able to be involved in leading change, part of uh, collaborations to lead change, to improve the laws and the policies that deal with the experience of being homeless in Victoria. Justice Connect were the most valuable of all of the people and the services that I did uh, get in touch with because of the effort that they went to to help in my situation. So I'm absolutely grateful to be uh, relieved enough that I'm on top of things. Um, Justice Connect to help me get there. Without their services, I wouldn't be here. And most of all, I was extremely happy because uh, I got to stay in the property and you know maintain a, a roof over my children's head. I think the future of homeless law has uh, even more potential. New ventures into exploring assistance to different client groups who are at risk of homelessness. We'll also continue to advocate for changes in law and for broader policy. Ultimately, the solution to homelessness is housing uh, and we need to be a society that recognises that access to adequate housing is a fundamental human right. Um, and homeless law, we believe that and we want to continue to advocate for that.